cutting flat top checkering requires a special tool that's pretty easy to make yourself. Let me show you how. A flat top diamond pattern is the original form of checkering and it was widely used up through the 1870s. This matched pair of Wesley Richards muzzleloading shotguns is a great example. And this Swiss Vetterly also has the same style of checkering. A handmade cutter, like this one, cuts the narrow flat bottom grooves that define flat top checkering. To make the cutter, I'll use a piece of quarter inch 01 drill rod. The first step is to bend the last inch or so to almost a 90 degree angle. After clamping it in the vise, a torch is used to bring the rod to a red hot color, and then it's easily bent. Once it cools, I check the angle. Nearly perfect. Next, I file the cutting end to a V-shape until the edge is about 15 thousandths of an inch thick. This closely matches the width of the grooves on this original Parker stock. The cutting teeth are next. I'm using a metal checkering file, 40 lines per inch, to cut a single row of teeth. The edge is hard and requires several light passes. Pulling the file gives more control than pushing and makes cutting the teeth easier. Now that the teeth are complete, the rod is shortened to about six inches. After cleaning up the burr, I tap on the handle. And now the checkering can begin. With the lines already laid out, using another tool, our flat top checkering tool now comes into play. This tool is used for widening and deepening the checkering lines and the border. After the sealer is applied, the flat top diamonds really stand out.